Martise Fuller broke down after a jury found him guilty of killing Kaylee Juga and attempting to kill her mother, Stephanie. 33 year old Jeffrey Buchanan and charged him with murder of 35 year old Rhonda Padalina. I have a fiance, his name is Bryce, and we've been together for almost four years. The only thing is, he's been in prison our entire relationship. I'm trying to see my baby, you know. I've met Devin. He's such a softy. This is a prepaid call from an inmate. There's something about the bad boy in prison that I am attracted to. <laughs> my mom has no idea that I'm currently dating an inmate. When does he get out? In like two weeks. Oh uh, my God. This is a horrible decision. It takes a lot to really trust him. He sent me an email asking me for more money. So is this like a serious relationship? I'd say we're like, we're in pretty deep. The fact that he has this rap sheet as long as a CVS receipt is concerning. He wants to remain celibate for a while. What? You're gonna have to take the reins and rock his world. We are getting tattoos of each other's names. These women are a little bit more dangerous than we know. <laughs> she can go crazy on me. I gotta look out for myself. No, you ain't just saying what's the worst that can happen. He shot her. What? 30-year-old Tyquan Walker. On Valentine's Day, he beat his girlfriend, 37-year-old Heather Hobbs, then shot her in the head in their bedroom. 27-year-old Felix Verdejo Sanchez is charged with kidnapping and carjacking, resulting in the death of Keishla Rodriguez Ortiz. Her mother told local media that her daughter was pregnant. He is also charged with killing the unborn child. Michael Cadogan and Gianna Delgado got into some sort of an argument before Cadogan assaulted her, resulting in her death. Cadogan admitted to strangling his girlfriend Delgado with a plan to get rid of the car and her body in Watuga Lake. 31-year-old Robert Williams Jr. murders 21-year-old Jessica Cromwell. 27-year-old Tyler Rio is charged with first-degree murder and the death of 24-year-old Yasmin Uar. Live-in boyfriend, 36-year-old Preston Higgs with second-degree murder. Teacher, 39-year-old Liz Quackenbush's life was taken too soon. James Edward Hawley, 47, expressed violent ideologies. 69-year-old Norma Jean Shoemaker Matko, a retired nurse, was shot to death in her family's farmhouse. Her daughter, 45-year-old Nicole Bronowski, a nurse at Akron Children's Hospital, went missing. 42-year-old Marcus Tate Clay murdered 54-year-old Marjorie Tate. She worked at Texoma Medical Center. 33-year-old Theon Sampson charged with second-degree murder in connection with the death of 31-year-old Lindsay Nichols. Her body was found inside the trunk of a car that was set on fire. Madison Sparrow was killed by by her boyfriend, 19-year-old Noah Sharp, last month.